Hi YouTubers, it's Kinky Styles 1980. I hope everyone is doing well. First off, I want to say thank you all for subscribing. Thank you for your wonderful comments. You guys are so sweet, so amazing, and I am so happy to be part of this whole YouTube community, this whole natural community. I am so happy and thank you for welcoming me on my channel. Thank you so much. So, I'm going to give you a quick update on my hair. As you know, I had the twist, the flat twist in the front of my hair going this way and that way. I had to wash my hair out. My hair was itching so bad. It was time to get a wash. Okay? Um, and I've been washing my hair every week since I've been natural. Even when I had the braids, the extensions in, I still wash my hair every week and I guess my hair was like, wash me. I was going to try to do two weeks with the style, but I could not do it. I had to wash it. So, as you know, the back was already two strand twist. So I washed my hair, I conditioned my hair. I left the two strand twist in the back, but I'm retwisting it. I basically got in the shower, washed my hair with the twist in, took all this out, the front out. Um, show you what I washed my hair with. I washed my hair with Giovanni, the shampoo. And I wash my hair, I mean, I condition my hair with the um, conditioner, the Giovanni conditioner. So, oh, quick tip. If you love scratching your scalp, but you don't want to use your nails, cut your nails before you wash your hair. That's what I've been doing, and it works wonders. I don't have to worry about scratching my scalp, but I still get a good wash. So I've been twisting my hair with the oil. Basically, I just fill the top of um, the top of the oil. I fill it up like this. I fill it up to the top, and then I just um, dip my finger in there to do the twist. Now I'm not big on the whole styling pudding type of stuff. I just like to use the oil because the oil works for me. It gives my hair what I need and I really don't think I need all the other stuff. So I'm just using the oil. Detangle my hair with a wide tooth comb. My hair is basically already detangled so it's going to just go right through. Freshly washed hair of course, I said that already. So I'm just going to show you how I've been twisting it. I'm sure you guys. I'm not going to say everyone, but a lot of people already know how to do it, a two-strand twist. But just in case you don't know, I'm going to show you. Just take two strands and twist away. I think this one kind of unraveled a little bit. And my hair is growing. I must say it is growing. Um, When I first did the Big Chop, my hair was rough. I don't know why it did that, but my hair is so soft now. I mean, it's so soft. I just love it. Um, the book that I read, Thank God I'm Natural, did mention that when you first do the big chop, your hair will be rough. I don't know what's the whole theory, theory behind that, but I definitely did experience that. So I'm going to do another one here. Another twist. I don't know if you guys can see. Yeah, so what I'm going to do is go ahead and just finish this twist right here. And then I'm going to stop the camera. And then I'll let you guys see the final look. And of course, take pictures at the end. So twist and let go. So I'll be right back guys. Okay guys, I'm back. I am done with my hair and I'm going to show you guys what it looks like. This is the front here. It's really soft. This is the side. The other side. I'm going to turn around so you can see the back. 
I believe I did all the twists over in the back. I'll double check after I turn off the camera and make sure. And I'm going to put my castor oil on my edges. Okay, this is what I usually do. I love castor oil on my edges. <laughs> And that is it. Now some of it is sticking up, but that's fine because when I go to bed tonight, I'm going to um, put a scarf over it, a satin scarf. Then I'm going to put my um, bonnet over that. So in the morning, it'll, it'll be a lot neater and it'll lay flat. And that's it. Hope you guys like it. See you next time on the next video. Bye, guys.